Yo, it's Nez, and I'm coming at you with another quick video on some essentials that um, some you should have and some you might want to consider to help make your um, Lyft and Uber driving experience that much more profitable. Um, like I said before, some of the stuff you definitely should have and some of them you don't necessarily need, but it will, you know, you probably might want to get anyway because it's inexpensive and it's only going to make your passengers ride that much more pleasurable. All right. So, um, I could sit there and tell you all the names of everything, but you know, I figure why don't I just show you and give you a little brief description as to why I think you should have it and blah, 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 so on and so forth. And uh, we'll go from there. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this camera down and get in and, and, uh, and go in on all the products that I have here. And uh, we go from there. Uh, keep in mind that everything that I show you, I'm going to put the links in the description as to where you can get it. Um, uh, and uh, you know what? Let's just get right into it. Uh, see you on the flip. Okay, as you can see right here, I got a bunch of different products here. So um, let's just get right into it. Okay, let's save that one for last when I opened up. Um, this right here, you don't necessarily need, but I suggest that if you live in an area where there's some, uh, there's woods, backwoods, or mountainous areas where you have a lot of deer running across the street and stuff like that, or you have the potential of driving into areas where that, this right here, you absolutely need. It is only like three or four bucks on Amazon. And uh, I'll put the links in the description. And basically what you do is there's a little peel and stick, like 3M tape that um, you peel off and you stick it on the front of your vehicle in like one of the grill slots there. And it just sits there. And as you're driving, um, it the air passes the air passes through there and then it makes like a, a whistling or some kind of noise that deer absolutely hate. And they will turn and go the other way. I have actually witnessed it myself. I'm driving up, um, up and over a mountain going into Sterling, New Jersey. And I see a bunch of deer um, on the side of the road. Um, you can, I've seen them as clear as day because it was snow on the ground. So they stuck out like a sore thumb. And, and as I started getting closer, I started seeing the deer backing up and backing up. And the more closer I get, the more they backed up to the point where they were literally up to the edge of the street. And they ran back into the woods as I was approaching closer. So it, I, it had to be this because I've never seen deer before as I'm approaching. And I'm approaching slow because there is snow and I'm on a hit and I'm on a mountainous hill. Um, I've never seen deer, deer just back up. Um, they'll usually just run across or they'll just stand there and wait for you to pass. But they never run back. Uh, but with this, they definitely do run back. So a couple bucks is worth it if you drive in areas where... Um, you have a lot of deer running around. Okay. This right here, charger cord, obviously. Um, two in one charger cord. This is micro USB to lightning. Um, you're going to have some people. Um, there's still people in here that have my, uh, with Android phones that have micro USB ports. A lot of people you have are going to have iPhones. So this is going to, this is going to uh, do you both. And uh, the good thing about this is that this is a, is a fast charge rated. So if they do have a, a Android phone that has quick charge built in, it will, they can get a little 15 minute, you know, ride can charge their phone literally about 30, 40% um, with the fast charge. As far as uh, the people with iPhones, you're stuck with the rate that you got. There's no fast charge for you guys, unless you have the iPhone 10 with the $80 accessory charger, you know, whatever. Oh, and the good thing about this is that at nighttime, it does uh, light up. Um, well, it lights up all the time, but at nighttime, it looks cool as it shows like flowing current. So as you're uh, as it's charging, uh, the, you'll see the current looks like the energy is going into the into the phone. It looks pretty cool. So um, there's this and and this is another one similar to that. But this one is USB-C. Oh no, this one's also micro USB. Okay, I thought this was USB-C. Neither here nor there. But um, so I got to get another one that has USB-C because all the new Android phones have the uh, USB-C on there. So now I gotta, I gotta get that. I thought um, I grabbed two of them, but I didn't. Same thing as that one, just a different brand. All right. So there's that. This right here. This is a basic vent holder. If you're using your phone. 
to do Uber, you absolutely need some type of holder to hold your phone because you don't want to be fumbling around with your phone while you're driving in your hand or sitting on your lap, making the, making the rider all nervous. Um, this right here, you see, it comes apart to accommodate most phones. This was an old one that I had. Um, so my phone is too big for this one, but I figured I'd just show you because it comes in all different kinds. It has a little rubber grip on there. You slide it right on your vent and this will hold most um, medium to uh, small phones. The bigger, larger phones, this one will work on that, but this is only a couple bucks. If that's what you got and you know you have a medium sized phone or, or less, um, this may this will be good to get you started. This right here, same as that, but it's magnetized. So when you buy this, it comes with a little magnet um, that you can peel and stick onto the back of your phone. I don't suggest sticking it directly to your phone. I suggest sticking it to like a case um, or something like that. Or what I did was I stuck it to the um, inside of my case so it's not on the outside and still works the same way. So you don't see the magnet, but you know it's there and you just pop your phone up there, boom. Um, I have this and I also have another one that I'm gonna be showing you. This is the one I use in, in the uh, summer. The reason why I say in the summer is because most likely I'm going to have the AC coming out the vent. So it's going to keep my phone cool. Um, in the wintertime, I got the heat coming out my vent and sticking my phone to this. Um, all it's doing is heating up my phone and then there's a chance that my phone can shut off, especially when you're using Uber. Uber uses a lot of power. And uh, between that, it could it could definitely, your phone could shut off right in the middle of the fair and you wouldn't want that. So, boom. Uh, this is great. This is only like uh, seven, eight bucks. And it comes with two magnets, one for a phone, one for a tablet size device. If you decide to use it with a tablet, and it is strong enough. The magnets are very, very strong. So just keep that in mind. Um, once again, all these products, I'm going to put the links in the description where you can get them. Right here. These are two. It's a pack of two. And it's only 10 bucks um, cord, uh, charger cords. Now, these are all... Um, fast charge or quick charge rated and these cords are the ones that actually have all three on them they have um micro usb to, um lightning and usb c hold on a second just to take one out and show you so you can actually see you see it has all the it has the tips on them and they're kind of connected to it so whichever one they have the the main one is a micro usb right there and then over here you have your lightning which if the person has an iPhone, they could just plug this on top of the micro USB to get lightning. And over here, USB-C, same deal. They could just plug it on top of the micro USB and now they have a USB-C device. Now these are just regular cords. Like I said, but they are quick charge rated. Um, I got these as um, extra cords. Obviously, I'm gonna use the more flashier ones because uh, like I told you in a previous video, People love flashy, shiny, new, and bling bling. People love all that. So, the you know when they see nice, when they see lights and stuff, and they you know just something them talk about, oh that's cool, type of stuff like that. It's just increasing your chances of getting you know any kind of tip or 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 a good. Definitely, you're gonna get a good rating, okay? Because that's just something that you know maybe someone hasn't seen before that other people haven't seen. But this this will definitely get the job done, you know. So I'm gonna keep these for backups. Um, over here, another one. This one I actually bought for myself. Um, because I do have friends and stuff that, uh, you know, have iPhones and then have, and my wife still, she has the Galaxy S7. So that still uses micro USB. She didn't go up to the eight yet. Um, so I still need to have in my car, um, capabilities of charging micro USB, um, because, uh, my wife still has, but once my wife upgrades to, um, um, the S8 or something better, something newer. I'm definitely gonna just get one that just has uh, USB-C and Lightning. There's no need for me to have micro USB anymore, other than for you know my Uber passengers and Lyft passengers, obviously. But just for me up front. Um, bong. This right here, it's a dual car charger. You can plug in two wires, obviously. This, you know, hence the term dual. And the reason why you want to duel is because if someone uh, hooks up with you with a Lyft line or Uber pool, you're going to most likely have more than one passenger in your car. And uh, everybody has a phone. So this, so at least you're given the option of charging two people at the same time. So 
Um, you definitely want to have one of these, not just a single charger, because, you know, you need to have your peripherals plugged up at all times. Um, you don't want to be giving someone your own charger because then if you die, then, you know, then that that's a problem. That's an issue. So you definitely need this. This is something you definitely need. Um, the other, you know, you know, this this right here is nice to have. You don't definitely need it, but it's nice to have. Like I said, I'm a, I have some stuff that you definitely need and you have some stuff that, you know, it's good to have. But it's not definite. This, if you drive in an area with deers, you definitely need it. If not, if you're in a city and no chance of deers or whatever, or no chance of you driving into an area that have deer, then no need for that. Okay. This, like I said before, you definitely need any kind of dual USB. I got a low profile one, so it's not sticking out that far. So that way, it's less chance of someone when they're getting in your car bumping it with their knee and breaking it on the back. So, because the one, there's a lot of one on there. You got to make sure you look for the ones that are low profile. Um, see, is no bigger than my thumb. And this part all goes in to the car and only this much is sticking out. So you figure an inch sticking out um, of your car and then you have the wires. So there's less chance of it getting damaged from people get it getting in, exiting the car with their bags and stuff smacking into it, breaking stuff up. Okay. Um, boom. First aid kit. Any kind of basic first aid kit. I'll put the links in the description where you can get this one. Um, again, on Amazon, it was only 12 bucks. So uh, for what you get, um, this is well worth the money. And is, you definitely, definitely need this in your car. Because people, you know, get cuts, they get hurt, blah, 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 blah. They could, you know, scrape themselves getting into your car, you know, or getting out of your car. Anything can happen. It's good to just have a little you know, mini first aid kit on hand just in case of a, some type of emergency. You know, hopefully you'll never need it, but it's better to not, it's better to have it not need it than to need it and not have it. All right, that's my motto. Once again, definitely need this. I'll put the links in the description, 12 bucks on Amazon, you know, give or take. All right, this, another thing. Definitely, definitely, definitely need this. Okay, you don't need this one per se, but anything you know similar to it basically what this is is an hd camera um this type of camera is uh it's basically a camera without a shell so i can kind of mount this anywhere in my car so um uh that way it's not like all in the way and everything but basically it gets the job done and the reason why i say you need a camera is because you know depending on where you drive uh or if you're in an area where there's a chance that you may drive into an area that's not the best area if you're picking up passengers you definitely want to protect yourself stuff happens all the time and you know it's not about what you um it's not about what you know it's what you can prove or it's not about what you say it's what you can prove and as you have video is no better proof than actual video that's documenting the whole option you get something like this you mount this in your car somewhere um and um and basically you know it's re you're recording all your um drives and then at the end of the day if there's no instance you could just erase the um erase the uh sd card and keep it pushing or you can set it this one right here i actually set it where it has loop mode so it'll just keep recording and then once it gets to the end it'll start recording over you know the beginning again and uh as long as there's no incidents you don't have to worry about that you just let it keep going but it, um, you can set it for time and date stamp all the videos so that way you know which one is which. And if there's an incident, you want to make sure you, um, you go in and pull the, um, that SD card out and remove those videos that are date and time stamped. And so that way, you know, you have your evidence videos for whatever case may be. Now, this one, the reason why I got this one is because I told you it's kind of a low profile. As you can see here. Here is the actual camera. Bong, just like that. That's your camera. See, it's hardly noticeable. It has the sticky 3M tape on the back of it so I can mount it anywhere. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have all of this stuff here behind my mirror right there. And then I'm gonna have the camera, this wire come up in front and like mount it like right there on the front of my mirror, a little spot right there. It's hardly noticeable, but It'll film everything in the, it'll film everything in my whip here, so that way there's no issues, um, no issues. Uh, if if there is an issue, there's a, you know, you have whatever evidence you need. I'll put the links in the description. Um, this one's only 25 bucks, not that expensive, you know. So there's that. Okay. Um, here goes the other mount that I was telling you about. This is the other mount 
the um I actually did a review on this. I'll put the link to the review of this in the description. So I don't really have to show you this. Um, you know, like I showed you the other ones, you could just look at the review and um and see this one per se. Just like I did a review of um I did a review. I do reviews of uh, a lot of stuff. I put the review. I put my reviews because on my other channel, I actually do product. I actually do uh, gadget reviews. So, so I put the links to all the reviews, to all the stuff, and the links to where you can buy them, and everything. Um, here, like I said, this is the one I use in the wintertime. So that way, it kind of when the heat's blowing, the heat gets mostly on this. It'll it'll shield my phone from the heat, so it does my phone doesn't heat up as much. And not to mention, this is wider, so it can fit most phones up to four point five inches wide. Portrait style, obviously landscape, it won't. But uh, portrait, you know, it'll fit like a seven inch tablet should fit in there, no problem. Um, um, radar detector hitter, you don't really need to. I, I get it because that's just me. Um, I had a radar detector, whatever. Okay, here goes another mount. Now this mount is a little different. This mount goes in your CD player. The reason why I got this mount, because I had the CD player right in the middle and it was the perfect spot for my tablet. So this mount was a no brainer. You know, you can adjust it, whatever, however what size you want. Uh, I mean, what angle you want. And you put your little magnet on the back of your device and bong, just like that, all right? And then it goes on there, no problem. And that bad boy is sturdy and tough. It's not going anywhere right not going anywhere um here's another type of mount that you can use fixed to your window this is my mount that i use for when i'm doing my uh my vlog videos i just slap my phone right up on top back there on the magnet boom hold my phone in place so i can drive and film at the same time but you can use it for you know to hold your phone up against the window if that's where you want to put it that's a perfectly good mount also um i'll put the links in the description for that i did a review on that i'll put the links for that too um Here's another thing. Uh, well, actually, before I go to the other thing, I'm going to show you what's in this white bag down there. Let me open it up so you can see. Bomb. Light up Uber Lyft sign. Now, this is straight up LED. This glows really good. All I have to do is connect this to one of the things down here, the transformer here, and then plug it into a USB in my car, which I have plenty of them because... You know, you know how I do. You know, I'm the gadget guy here. Um, I plug it into a USB and then my sign will light up. Let's see if I can do that real quick for you so you can see what it looks like. Bomb. We all lit up, as you can see. Um, so this is what she looks like. So imagine hanging this bad boy in your mirror, trust, I mean, in your window up there. No one is going to miss that. And, and the best part about it, it has Uber and Lyft on there. So you're covered on both ends. So, you know, everyone's, you know, everyone, you know, does both nowadays anyway why wouldn't you um it has the extra um cabling here so you can run it the proper way you know if that's how you want to do it um it has your little suctions right here so that way you can make it stick right to your um window and and or your windshield i should say and you're good to go it has everything you need to get started to uh to mount this the proper way and not have the wires all in the way you know and run them if that's how you want to do it so if you're driving you need this all right you don't need it but you do i mean obviously if you have this thick one that you currently use that's fine but you you need this you need this this is great especially if you do fares at night you know you're going to be easily spotted if you're in a, an area where the cop you where you have to have this for the cops um so the cops don't mess with you their cops is not gonna the cops are not gonna not see this all right so bong this was only 16 bucks 16 bucks for this i'll put the links in the description where you can get it it's well worth the money that's what it looks like on back nice simple construction not a lot of you know techie crap and then like i said it's usb powered so plug it right in your usb and you're good to go all right so there's that okay another thing that i suggest you have is as you see this is an overlay mirror okay you don't have to have it like this, but I suggest you ha get something like this. Now, as you see there in my mirror, it's at the dash cam for my car. See, as you can see, that's the front of my car right there, bong. And this video right there is the rear of my car. So if I run into somebody by accident or if someone jumps out in front of me and I hit them by accident or if someone, someone hits me, I got video of all of that, okay? If you're driving for Uber and Lyft, you need some kind of 
dual dash cam. And I say dual dash cam is because the reason why I say dual dash cam is because you're more likely someone to run into you than you whatever to happen on the in, in front of you. Um, unless you're just that bad of a driver. And if you're that bad of a driver, you shouldn't be doing this. All right. But like I said, you're more likely to have someone hit you from behind. As you see a guy just walk by this person right there, just walk by. Um, you saw that in the video. Um, and, uh, that's why I say dual dash cam, because you really need the protection and you really need the video from the back. Um, so that way you have proof, um, of anything that happens behind you. Okay. And not to mention, uh, it's good to have the video in the front too, because all kinds of stuff could be, you know, happening and you could pull out into an intersection and witness another accident. And then you'll have the video for that. If you decide you want to be a good Samaritan, and help them out. So definitely get some type of dash cam. I'll put the link in the description for this one, but there are several others on eBay and Amazon and stuff. And you can pick up a dash cam, a front facing dash cam for like 25 bucks and you can get a dual one for like 40 to $50. So I suggest you start off with a cheap one. And then once you get your money up, once you get the dollars up, you can get something like this. This one only costs, I caught this one at the right time. Amazon had a flash sale and I caught this for, I believe it was um, $80. But I think the original price of this was 110. Okay, so even 110, something like this, an overlay mirror, it's not obvious. It has, like I said, get right inside the mirror, you press the button, you got the video, so you can take a look at it real quick, you know? Um, I also did a review on this, so I'll put the link to that in the description so you can so you can see the review on this on how this works. And you may like this and you may want to get that. Um, uh, they, may, they may or may not have this still, but if they don't, they'll have similar ones like this for a different price, you can get that one. But like I said, they're generally over a hundred, you know, a hundred bucks for something like this and then like i said i have all my wires run up you know into in you know in the ceiling and stuff to the back you know all the way to the back you see the little knot sticking out of uh the back the, right in the middle of my trunk kind of like the apple notch um that's my uh that's let me let me zoom in so you can actually see it see a little notch right there that's the back the rear camera just sticking out like there enough so that way you can film what's going on behind me so that's like perfect for that zoom in a little bit more so you can see it bong that's what it that's it um so all right there's one more thing that i want to show you uh maybe two more things all right hold on a second just real quick so you can see what the camera looks like on the other side that's the notch that i was just showing you okay now you see i have a big bin back there i have all kinds of stuff and goodies in that big bin I suggest everyone get a, a bin of sorts, keep all your stuff in there, so that way it's kind of organized and uh, everything's not flopping around in your car, that way you have everything. And um, something like this air purifying bag, um, I suggest that you, I'll put the links in the description for that, I did a little um, um, review on that too. I suggest that uh, you get something like that um, because that lasts for two years. Um, you recharge it in the sun, you sit it in your dashboard in the sun for an hour, um, once a month and it recharges it and basically in the space of this whole vehicle it'll eat up all the bad odors so anyone who's been doing this knowing that you've gotten some questionable riders that uh, has some questionable odors and this will eat up all those odors and I'll make your car keep your car smelling fresh so your air freshener doesn't have to whatever air fresheners that you use don't have to work as hard all right now over here on the back of my um, on the back of my uh, passenger seat I have a little uh, station here hanging here. As you see there, it's got tissue sticking out of it. Um, it's got some vomit bags in there. I suggest everyone keep that. I got some candy that I'm gonna throw in these side pockets. Not much, just a little bit. I only spent like 10 bucks on all that candy. And uh, I bought candy and water, little eight ounce water bottles you can fit in there. Every day I'll throw a little ice pack in there you know, so that way it'll keep it kind of chilled. It doesn't have to be ice cold, it's chilled enough. And uh, so that way my riders have water if they want it. If not, then they don't have to. And um, and then I also have a little Tupperware bin, you know, that you know that I sit up front with me so that way I keep all my stuff kind of organized and not all over the place. So if I need something, I could just go on Tupperware bin. That way my car always looks neat. Always looks neat. Um, I got a little garbage can down there 
that um you know did I put trash and stuff in there the passengers could put trash and stuff in there too so all of that stuff <clears throat> and um and and I have one more th- no I have two more things to show you hold on bong this you definitely 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 need something like this I did a review of this already I'll put the links to this in the description this is basically portable power um and it's the type of it's it's basically like your own jump kit um you use this if you you're some reason your battery dies you forget to turn off your lights you run inside you come back out your car dies or overnight or whatever so you don't have to worry about having to find somebody with jumper cables or finding somebody to come jump you because i'm sure you'll be in some questionable areas and you don't want to be asking people that and a lot a lot of people don't know you they may look at you and decide they don't want to help you help yourself this right here i caught in a flash sale on amazon it was only 40 bucks the original price for it is 60 um basically this is enough this is enough to charge my truck to jump start my truck five times on a charge this could jump start a Mack truck twice. So a regular car, this will probably jump a regular car probably seven, eight times on a charge. And the good thing about it is a 20,000 milliamp battery. So you can charge your iPhone, whatever have you. It has a, you know, emergency lights on it. Emergency. So you can set it out, you know, if you've got a flat or something. It has a compass built in. Like I said, I'm not going to go over the whole thing. I'll put the links in the description. Where you can check out the review for yourself but you definitely need something like that in your car and you see how i had mine just under the seat down there i just you know every three months i check to make sure it's charged and i just throw it underneath the seat and it just sits underneath there it can get kicked around i don't care but it's there at least i know i have it in the event that i need to charge i mean that i need to jump yeah and i notice i, I i've been saying one more thing but uh, i keep remembering uh, more things that i, I want to show you so i i'm um, so I'm going to add this to the list of one more thing and then there's going to be a, another thing after that and probably another thing after that So just kind of bear with me because I'm remembering stuff as I go along because all this stuff is stuff that you should That you could potentially need and this is another one um, This is a power inverter by halo um, Basically you want to have some type of power inverter because in case when you do those long trips Maybe to the airport or something like that um, People might want to do some work and uh, if they're using their laptop they need some power and this is good enough for that. It's a round, kind of like a cup, so it can sit in one of your cup holders with the um, power plug sticking up, and it has a USB port on there, so they can plug in plug in your phone. Um, but you should already have something to plug in your phone, regardless. That's just uh, the basics. But um, they can charge your laptop where you go. This is a uh, 200 watts um, runtime. This is 200 watts RMS, but the peak is 400 watts in case there's any spikes in power, which you shouldn't really have that issue. If you're powering a laptop or something like that, this is more than capable of handling a laptop 200 watts. Um, so, um, <clears throat> as you can see, you can power all these peripherals back there where they wouldn't put the pictures on there. Um, so that this is more than enough for that, for all the tech heads that like to see the tech stuff. There you go. Bong. So, um, you should have something like this. I recommend this is one of the things I think is necessary, especially if you do do long trips, you know, and, uh, people and you do pick up business people and there's a chance that they may do work. Um, get something like that. Um, I'll put the link in the description. It was only 15 bucks for that. So bong, you can grab that. Um, me, this is another thing that I have, uh, I meant to show you before I have a little side, um, a little side pouch on the side of my chair sits on the side of my chair it has a mesh pocket and a regular pocket in the bottom pocket i keep um <clears throat> hand sanitizer you know people people i don't know anybody who doesn't love hand sanitizer okay i got the tide to go wipes um uh i that's more for myself you know you're driving around a lot sometimes you have to go to the bathroom and there's a lot of questionable places that you go to the bathroom so you grab it's it's handy so when i'm running out the car and i gotta run i can just snatch that out you know go in if the if the toilet's questionable got the got the uh i should i know i said tide to go but i meant clorox to go i got the little clorox wipes and uh the wipes you can wipe down the surface area really good real quick and boom do your business you know you have to wor- anything to worry about so bong and i also hang my cables in there too where they can you know see not where they can be seen you know like i showed you before i got the little thing right there uh and it's got two cables coming in so i could charge two people at the same time so there's that all right 
So, um, and so back to the next one more thing that I got, you know, I'm just like Steve Jobs, there's always one more thing. So next item. I have a couple uh, little minor accessories. I figure you should throw in there depending on your area. Uh, these things are not necessary, but it never helps. Um, first thing I would say, microfiber cloths. You know, any type of microfiber cloths will do for after you get your car washed. You know, you wipe down. You know, you wipe down your car, get all the extra uh, water off the car. You know, the speckles once, or the water once it dries, it looks horrible on your car. So I advise just keep some microfiber cloths. They're fairly cheap. You can even go to Harbor Freight and buy a small item and they usually give you a pack like this for free. So you can go there and buy a flashlight for two bucks and then get a pack of microfiber cloths for free. So you're getting two for one deal. Um, our squeegee, doesn't have to be from Rainex, but here's a Rainex squeegee. Basically, it's just a squeegee to use to uh, clean, um, clean the windows. I like the fact that it has a scrubber on one side and it has squeegee on the other side so that way you can pull the water off the windshield so that way your windshield remains clean um, I got one that's a, that extends so let me see if I can open it up one handed so now this one because I got a truck I need a long one so I know that's what she said right um, so this one's really long so I can get across my whole window you know my, my, without having to go around the car so um, without having to go around my truck so that's good and also some uh, de-icer or some, um, you know, I've been seeing this. I know you've been seeing this the whole time. Um, some, some fluid. Now, what I, um, what I don't have in here that I have at home that I just thought of, um, spray bottle. You could pour some of this in a spray bottle and you could do all your windows with it and then squeegee it off. So you spray your windows down with it and then you just squeegee, squeegee it off, bong, you know? And I would even suggest maybe even the Rain-X two-in-one. Um, I did have some. But um, when I went back to the store to get some more, this was on sale. So seeing how it is winter time right now, you know, I figured I just went with this. And then maybe in like another month, once uh, I know for sure it's going to stop snowing, um, then I get to go back to my rain next. But yes, definitely um, get yourself a, a squeegee um, because, uh, you know, it's going to help keep your windows looking nice and fresh. So that way you don't have to um, worry about those... Uh, those dry water spots over your windows looking all disgusting. Cleaning wipes, so that way you can wipe down your uh, upholstery, um, wipe down your seats, you know, just a little, you know, touch-ups here and there, nothing, nothing mage, you know, you save all the mage work for you for when you go to the car wash, but uh, some cleaning wipes. They're very cheap at, at uh, Walmart for like a dollar, all right, not even, like 97 cents, all right. Um, tire wet or any type of uh, um, tire shine for after you go to the car wash. So that way you're not spending any extra money on the upgrades for, because I know they usually charge three to four bucks just for them to do it um, when you could do it yourself. So it takes you 60 seconds, you know, you know, 20 seconds each tire. So a, a minute and 20 seconds to do all four of your tires. Boom. Uh, you got a fire extinguisher puts out a, it's an ABC fire extinguisher um, for uh, pretty much anything I'll keep this little can in my car um, so that way should there be a small fire you know I can extinguish it you know pretty fast obviously gloves um, it could be reusable gloves or disposable gloves I just keep disposable gloves it's just easier I work in the health field so um, I have plenty of access to them. Now, if you're in an area where there's a good chance that you may have to uh, uh, give someone a ride that may have a um, sp um, that may have a dog, um, because you are required, you know, by Lyft and Uber to transport people with service dogs, I suggest you get one of these. As a matter of fact, I suggest you get one of these anyway in case you have a dog, so that way you keep your seats clean. It uh, it covers your whole back seat. It has tie downs as you it has tie downs so that way it'll keep it in place um, this thing is this thing is amazing um, definitely get you one of these uh, if, if you uh, if there's a chance that you could do that so that way because it's tough getting dog hair off a seat so I much rather get had the dog sit on this and then when the passenger get out I could fold it up into itself boom all the hair contained all right and last but not least last thing you should have bam some type of high-powered uh, vacuum now I say high-powered on purpose 
usually anything that's a wet dry vac usually is pretty good power you want something with good suction so that way you're not spending all day sitting there trying to vacuum out your car real quick you want to get in there you know get suck up all the dirt and or water if necessary and get out of there uh, like this because it does like I said it is wet dry so it does suck up water and dirt I do have the weather tech mats in my car if you have the extra uh, money I would say invest in weather tech mats they're amazing I've had people spill their coffee and then get out like nothing you know hey not my problem anymore you know so I just pull over to the side you know all the coffee is contained in the weather tech mat you know pull out a wet dry vac suck it all up you know you know the um it's all contained into the wet dry mat on that. Then if I have a bottle of water, I could pull the mat out, run some water over it, and then, you know, take the paper towel, which I have paper towels too. Um, I know I didn't show you that, but, you know, keep some paper towels. I'm always having some kind of napkins left over from, you know, Burger King or Wendy's or whatever. Uh, so I usually keep those nice and folded in my glove box. So then you, uh, you go, so you take a couple of those, wipe down your mat when you're done, and boom. You know, you're back, you're back in service, baby. And then when you get to your next spot or when you get home, you can uh, take out your filter, dump out the water, rinse off the filter because the filter is meant to be rinsed off the water. And then you're good to go. So, yeah, those are just my uh, um, things that I think that you should have um, in your car uh, if you're a um, Lyft Uber driver. Um, some things are definite, must, and some things are, you know, it's good to have but not necessary. So I'll let you pick and choose. These are, this is obviously, this is all the things that I have in my whip. Um, so, hey, you uh, make your choices yourself and see what you need. You know, this is, you know, so that way when you're out, in case you do some long runs and something happened, you're, you're prepared and you're not stuck, you know, heading off to like Walmart to buy something real quick. You know, you get it when it's, you get it when it's cheap or when it's on sale and boom, you got it. And then, like I said, you get one of these big tough Tupperwares, everything fits in there. Everything's nice and neat. I know my trunk is not neat, nice and neat right now because I just had my brakes done. So I got kind of stuff all over the place, but I'm gonna get it back. And plus, not to mention, I went to get more supplies because, uh, you know, I did um, stock my uh, car with a couple, little bit of candy and stuff like that. Um, so, you know, so uh, with that being said, you know, I'm Nez. Um, hey, make your choices. All the stuff is relatively cheap. I put the links in the descriptions because I did do a review on this. So I put the links in the description, you know, where you can get all this stuff to make it easier for you to find it. So, um, hey, if uh, if you have any comments, um, if you have any comments, leave them below um, to let me know what you got in your car. Let me know if there's something that you have that you think that may be beneficial for me to have in mind. You know, like I said, it's all relative to, you know, what area you're in and what your needs may be as far as your passengers. So, um, like I said, leave the comments down below. Um, if you should be so inclined, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell icon. Come along with me for the ride. I'm this, and I'm out this piece.